Give it a second, because I want to make sure it's actually streaming this time. Mm. As opposed to last time. Yeah. Um, hopefully you can hear this. We're streaming on August 9th. Someone's going to say something. To let us know. Dear that chat, please let us know if you are hearing us. Sincerely, us. Move so far back. Hello is close, but it's not quite. Because you could just be saying hello yeah. to, to the chat. Yay! Yay! We have signal. Fantastic. That's awesome. Okay, so like so I said, oh, uh, I just I just looked over. <laughs> <laughs> like I literally just dragged my eyeballs over and saw what you're drawing. What? Oh. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, do you see though? You're receiving audio, but do you see? Can you see? Um, Can you dig it? We are streaming on August 9th. Uh, I am drawing Steven Universe stuff again because imagine that fuck it. <laughs> um, I had no idea what I had planned for today, but my arm's feeling better, and I haven't drawn Steven Universe in a long time. So yeah. I'm drawing Ruby and Sapphire because someone mentioned ages ago that they wanted one, and I hope that someone's a ten dollar patron because I'm gonna. It's exactly the right size to be the super high resolution desktop background. Nice. So nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I hope you're a patron. Um, yes, Marilius twenty five. You really need to watch Steven Universe. Sure. Like you. I was a skeptic. I was a skeptic for a while, but then I sat down and actually watched it, and it's really, really good. Uh, now she's a Steven Universe missionary. Yes. Most people that uh, have started watching it. You know, ten episodes in, it will be like, I get it now. Yeah, I understand. I have you heard the good news about the crystal gems. Yeah, <laughs> about our Lord and Savior. <laughs> um, I've run into precisely one person, like one person on Twitter, who was like, "No, I'm not watching Steven Universe. It's super problematic." And blah, blah, blah. but she, this person is also like, just dead disturbs to dead to you. Is what disturbs you shit constantly. Yeah. Like, there's just constant drama. So. I didn't really, like, I was like, oh, yeah, of course you'd have a problem with it, because you have a problem with basically everything. Yeah. But, why do you hate everything I love? So, yeah. So, um, stuff and things. Stuff and things? Photos with him. Oh, yeah, I did, but they're in the other room. I did better. Failure! Because I, should, oh, 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 I want oh, the internet want... to see them. Yeah. yeah. I'll be right back. Yes. Um, Jeff brought some magnificent photos. That yes, he, he sure did. At his parents' place, so we're gonna go on a little bit of a yeah. little bit of a journey into the. Uh, I believe I've journey. actually shared my prom photos on this stream I previously. Too, yeah. Yes, we did at some point. Um, I'll make this slightly bigger so you guys can see. Into the chat, so much larger. You have to hold into the oh, camera. You have fine. to do all gotta, the work. I gotta do yes, all the you, work you too. You sure do. Fine, 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 fine. So. These photos were uh, taken in 1997 uh, when I went to uh, what is, for all intents and purposes, prom. So this is me and my mom Aww. back when I had hair. She still has hers. <laughs> this is me and my dad. I don't know why I'm smiling as I am. Come on. There, there, there it go. is. Autofocus. Yeah. Hooray. It's, uh, my dad also still has all of his hair. Um. So you don't know who's to blame? Oh, oh, no, it's my mom. Yeah, she, genetically. She's to blame. Yeah, genetically. Uh, all of my uncles on her side are, are bald like me. Uh, and me and mom. Aww. Come on. Did you have a date? Focus. I did not. Uh, Looked up or anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, uh. I didn't ever have a date until after uh, high school. Yeah, uh, pardon me, I've forgotten what Ruby's nose looks like. And I'm That's cool. That, that is cool. Um, chat. So yeah. So, so that was me when I had hair. We can also uh, tell if anybody has any uh, anecdotes about prom or dances. I'm sure I do. I, uh, I mean, there were the usual things. I think, I, and I mentioned, I, I was rewatching last week's stream because it, it, rarely I remembered that I said I would 
look for something, but I couldn't remember what it was, so I watched back through to, to get it, and we'll get to that in a second, and a, like at least a glass and a wine and a, and a half from now, we'll get to that. But, um, I mentioned how I was reading my old journals and how you can see the puberty happening of, like, <laughs> and resisting it. And so I do remember, like, trying to get up the courage to ask my best guy friend for a slow dance. And we finally did, but it was to Stairway to Heaven, which then, it, of course, like, breaks down into the big, yeah. like, rock riff, so it wasn't a real <laughs> slow dance. But yeah, it was, uh, I had a... a crush on him for a little bit um and uh do you did you did you guys ever have well you, you might not have but uh did anybody else have uh, much music video dances no i, I heard of these i, I went to one. a bunch of them and they were awesome um so uh for reference so much music is like mtv in canada I think it's just called Much now, isn't it? Or it's it? just like, Much, like, yeah, because yeah, yeah. of course... I think in 2013 sure it's they dropped the uh, music, the That's music and just became Much. But they were the music video channel for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And um, they would do these things where they would bring in these huge, huge screens mm -hmm. and they would show music videos... Um, the whole, and it would be a dance, and there were like lights and yeah, smoke machines and advertise everything. Advertise them and, heavily on the channel. Much music video dance party. Yeah, Get one for your so, school. So yeah, like my school had at least two of them, um, so that was really fun. And so I remember going to one of those and being like, because there was this weird rumor going around when I was thirteen that you legally couldn't mosh before you were 13 or something what the f <laughs> and like by oh. mosh i of course oh. mean jump around in a relatively like tight knit group around? some yeah. genius up, of gossip yes. marketing came up oh, with that, that <laughs> but is... you know you're like yeah we're totally mosh we're not, we were not moshing but, <laughs> but i remember being really excited because we were all 13 and we were like oh, yeah man, it's legal rebels. now and <laughs> i went first... to a really dorky junior high <laughs> uh, that's, listen it's, it's it's okay i went to private school mm. like it, I, I get it yeah. we never had the uh, much music video dance party um weird story from my prom i guess uh and then we have to scroll up in the chat because there sorry. were a bunch of oh. things that people said oh, okay. and we missed so yeah. anyway finish um i lost about 100 pounds in grade 12 mm. uh because i was i was determined to look good in a uh, in a tuxedo uh and the funny thing was, doing it over the course of the school year, most people didn't notice, mm. except everyone who returned, like all the grads from the previous year, you know, who came back to visit on, on grad night, they noticed. So right. that, that, that was kind of funny. Yeah. Um, um, the first... Sorry, going off the mosh thing, the first time I was around people who were legitimately moshing, mm -hmm. uh, someone... During a headbanging section of the music, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if there's rules to it, whatever. I never actually moshed. Uh, as someone was raising their head, another person was lowering. Oh, no! And one of my friends uh, cracked his upper jaw into the head of another one of my friends. Oh, split no. his head open. Oh, God. And uh, broke his tooth. That, that front tooth there was cracked. And oh. in the crack was a hair from the head of the other guy. Oh, oh, God. oh God, oh God, oh God. It was impressive. Oh. It's one of those, like, how That's do you do that? That's horrifying. I'm not even mad. That's oh. awful. That's a horrifying. A... Oh, Jesus. I, yeah, I remember getting really mad at my mom because I wanted to go see Treble Charger because they were playing the Calgary Stampede. And my mom was like, no, you're going to get crushed because my mom was slightly neurotic. <laughs> And so, yeah. Um, so we should scroll up a little bit and we'll read, because yeah. we had a bunch of chat um, things. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Lady Thimble Trimmer. My prom had a lax dress code, so I showed up in jeans, a white shirt, a gold vest, and fez. That's awesome. Um, Q Monster says, my prom was pretty boring. I had broken up with my girlfriend of about two years just a few months before. That's sad. Mm -hmm. um, I, my story is somewhat similar. Uh, MTV CDM says I didn't go to prom. High school was awful enough that I made an active effort to avoid anything that would cause me to spend longer inside the high school than absolutely That's necessary. Fair. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Um, I did that with one of my final exams. <laughs> my, uh, my grad, I, uh, my very, very first boyfriend had broken up with me that January, and that entire semester was me badly failing to get over it in any sort of a dignified way. <laughs> 
it was bad. It was really, really bad. Um, you know. It's fair. Oh, sorry. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Oh, god. You broke everything. Everything's Yeah, ruined. we can scroll to the bottom now. Um, so I went to. Uh, <laughs> Nightmare fuel. Yeah. Yeah. I went to my grad and. I got all dressed up, and I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to let my ex, like, ruin the night for That's me. That's right. And, um... Did it, you let your ex ruin the night? It, no, it actually went okay. okay. And I remember going to... The, we went to this after party. Um, I see where this is going. Yeah, like, yeah no, it's no. Like, I'm not going to let my I mean, ex ruin the night, and then I did. I was really anxious the whole time, because I just was super anxious in general. But I did... We did go to an after party that had been, tr- like... It was planned, and it was in a separate friend group, and we all, like, drove out to this campground, and they had, because their parents had a trailer, like a camping trailer. Okay. Um, so we all, like, you know, made hot dogs and, like, beer, beer uh, marinated hot dogs, which are really, really good. Huh. And you made beer? That's amazing. No, but, like, we marinated hot dogs, we dunked hot dogs in beer for a couple of minutes, and then we... Hello, obsolete. We put them on the fire, and they were delicious, and I haven't done that since, but I've hmm. wanted to. Um, but I remember being like, I'm bad, at, like, I don't even care anymore, I'm That's totally right. getting drunk. Because I had been a super teetotaler with my entire high school life, and then <laughs> the breakup had had hardened me somewhat oh, yeah. to life. And I was Blackened like, no. Your soul. Yeah, it sure had. <laughs> we'll this get is to me that. now. Yeah. <laughs> Did you okay? So I don't know if you guys um, listen to to many podcasts, but Neil deGrasse Tyson has one called uh, Star Talk Radio. I did not know that. Yeah, it's great. And so one of his live shows, he has um, Eugene Eugene he, Merman. Merman. He has Eugene Merman who voices um, Gene Gene Belcher. on Gene Belcher on Bob's Burgers. He had him as a guest. Because he's a professional comedian, yeah. and so he's joking that around. A lot, actually, he's joking around with Neil deGrasse Tyson the whole time, and it's an audio thing. And I'm just like, Gene Belcher is real. Yeah, and he's friends with Neil deGrasse and Tyson. Gene. He has a special on Netflix. Yeah, now. that's that's uh, what I was thinking about because he awesome. talks because someone he like he takes questions from the crowd, and yeah. someone asked him what Neil deGrasse Tyson was like. And he's like, he's as soft as a hundred kittens and as smart as a thousand bumblebees. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm going to have to watch that it, while I pack. It's great. It's Because uh, that's called, all I have to do. Uh, vegan on the way to the complain store yeah. or something that's like that. awesome. Of course it is. Um, and, yeah, so that was my grad. And uh, I still have my dress, although I might, now that I'm packing up my whole apartment, I may give it away. Cause oh, it doesn't God, I think anymore. my prom dress is still at my mom's house. Mine is in my, my closet. They were My parents were like, we don't want it. Here you go. And uh, it's now, like two sizes too small for me like I can put it on but it's I'm I'm not swimming in it but it's definitely needs to be adjusted but um it's yeah I have no use for this very very fancy dress I can only imagine that my tuxedo is either still being rented out or has been retired right yeah nobly nobly retired Uh, the Neil deGrasse Tyson podcast is called Star Talk Radio yeah, it's very good. To add that to my, um, to my if you are looking for new podcasts, I also have to recommend my hands down absolutely favorite one is called Caustic Soda. That's not the name of my podcast. No, <laughs> sorry. That is Brad's new favorite podcast. Out, oh, I good. didn't want you to have to find out this one. <laughs> <laughs> but Caustic Soda is three <sighs> nerds from uh, Vancouver. Wanted to take you somewhere so you wouldn't make a scene. <laughs> <laughs> It's in a somewhat so public dead space. To me now. Um, and so uh, there are three nerds from Vancouver. One of them is in a, and this is true, um, a uh, Cthulhu-themed rock band, nice. like nerdcore rock band. Um, thank you, Sarah. And uh, the other, like the others, are one of them. He's like a, a production assistant in Vancouver mm-hmm. filming. But they get together once a week and they do a podcast on like gross, horrifying, weird stuff. 